Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you deploy a Matillion ETL service onto AWS EC2 instance. Since posting some videos as part of using Matillion ETL on top of Snowflake, a number of you have asked me the question about, okay, this is great. I can see how Matillion ETL works once it's up and running, but how do you actually deploy the service onto an EC2 instance? So that's the focus of this video, and I'm going to show you how to do it starting with the Matillion Hub. I'm going to just log into the Matillion Hub using my account. And you can see here, I've got a number of options. I can add a Matillion ETL instance. So I'm going to click on here. Next up, I get to choose my cloud provider. So AWS and Snowflake in my place. Now here I get two different options. I can use a cloud formation template. So it's going to give you a configuration of all the different uh, activities and configurations that need to take place as part of a cloud formation template that you can then take and deploy. Or you can use a Amy and Amazon machine image where you can deploy that onto an existing EC2 instance. And then you do one or two little bits of configuration, which I'll show you in a second, and then you're good to go. So let's click on Amy and then it will actually redirect you to your AWS account. So if I go continue in AWS, then I'm going to log in to my root account. And it takes me to um, all of the Amy's related to Matillion ETL. If you check the box next to it, you will get the specific information next to it. I believe these are all different build instances. I'm just going to select the first one for the purposes of this demo. So check the box, click launch, launch instance from Amy. Now it takes you to the EC2 instances page where you asked to provide some details so you can actually launch the instance itself. Whilst we're on this page, before I go any further, I'm just going to point you in the direction of the Matillion documentation for Matillion ETL. There's a section called launch a Matillion ETL, and you've also got instructions for AWS and Azure. I'm sure Google's in there somewhere as well. If I expand to AWS, you've got the instructions for the CloudFormation template or for using the machine image, the Amy that we're doing. Let me just click on that. So it does walk you through the steps. I do find it's pretty good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give the instance a name. And then I need to generate a, a key pair. I've already generated one previously for another instance I've got. So I'm gonna use that. If you don't have one, you can just simply click create new key pair and it will create one and you can download that key. One thing that caught me out when I first did this is the instance type. I didn't go and change this. It was a T2 micro, which as you can see is really small. And I originally created my Matillion instance uh, as a T2 micro size. Now, if I flick back to the documentation on the Matillion website, you can see that you have to choose one of the supported instance types. So if I open that page up and head there and scroll down to the AWS instance recommendations, you see that the instance size, um, the smallest one we start with is a T2 medium. So as a minimum, we need to make sure that we select that before deploying our Amy onto our EC2 instance. So let's just drop this down and pick T2 medium. So we've got our instance type, we've generated or selected our existing key pair. Network settings next. So we're gonna create a new security group. By default, we've got allow SSH, SSH traffic from essentially anywhere, the internet. I also want to allow HTTPS and HTTP traffic from the internet for this demo. If I go back to the documentation, and scroll down to this particular section. You can add additional storage volumes and tags. You don't, it's not a mandatory requirement, but on the configuration security group, it does recommend um, to certainly open HTTPS um, to allow access to the instance from the internet. So here you can see they have their security group set up in this way. I'm picking all of those. It tells you that, yeah, you shouldn't really allow all public traffic to access it for this instance, for the demo. I don't really mind. If I click launch instance now, it will deploy that Amy to the EC2 instance. 
and launch it. If I go into my instance that I've just created and select it, you can see it's running. Now, no, it does take a couple of minutes for this, a few minutes to set up. You can you can see in the status check, uh, it currently says initializing, and this is a good three, four minutes after I've um, created the instance itself. You can go into the status checks um, within the detail of the instance to get more information about it, but it's well worth giving it a few, good few minutes before you actually test the connectivity to it. Now I've just refreshed my management console EC2 pane and you can see now that we're running two out of two status checks have passed if I click into my instance ID everything looks good and I can click open address next to the IPv4 address now you may well get something like this come up when you try to connect on an HTTPS connection uh, don't worry too much about it we are still going to go to visit the website Here's our Matillion instance now running. To log in, by default, EC2 user is always the username. The password then is your instance ID, this one here. To copy it, make sure you click the little copy icon here to grab the instance ID uh, accurately. Paste that into there and click login. The very first time that you log in, we should get a dialog box pop up asking us to associate this EC2 instance with our Matillion hub. And there we go. The Matillion hub recognizes it hasn't seen this instance before, and we need to go back and associate the instance with the hub. I'm not gonna do this because I'm gonna just trash this instance now. I was just doing it for the purposes of this demo and to help you guys out. So I hope you find that useful. That's how easy it is. Follow those steps and you can't go wrong. Use the Amy on AWS. And if you're doing any uh, other configuration on the other clouds, make sure you use the documentation. I will put the link in the description below. If you find this video useful, keep watching, keep subscribing. New videos coming soon. I also wanted to let you know about our Master and Snowflake program with myself that we run. And it's, it's an exclusive signature program to help you master Snowflake and learn how to design, implement, and scale solutions in the cloud. And I've designed this program specifically for those people who have either scratched the surface using Snowflake or who are stuck working with legacy on-premise technologies and haven't been invested in by their companies and have fallen behind in their career. And what I've done is packaged up my knowledge and experience of working with Snowflake since 2017 and learning how to package up Snowflake's out-of-the-box capabilities in a way where you can apply them in the real world to address common challenges. So this program isn't about theory. Of course, I need to introduce you to the concepts if you're new to Snowflake, and many of my members are, but it's really about introducing the theory and then in practice, how you apply those in the real world. I've been through the pain of understanding what works and what doesn't. Now I've got a formula or a set of recipes, if you like, that show you how to do that. So the Master and Snowflake program includes in-depth, on-demand video course content that I've created they all include practical hands-on demos. I provide access to all the code, templates, and files that I use as part of those demos. So you can download them and use them freely. You may want to use them in your day-to-day -day work. You may want to take them and customize them and use them as a starting point. All members on the program get exclusive access to a members-only group where everybody can help each other out and share their knowledge and best practice and get expert advice. Finally, I also carry out a group 60 minute coaching call with all the members, totally optional, where you can ask me anything about Snowflake, data analytics, data strategy, data architecture, you name it, um, interview advice, and I can help you and give my um, input and help and support and guidance around that. Finally, you'll get lifetime access to all feature updates. Snowflake's changing and evolving. There's new features and releases every week, and you'll continue to benefit from those updates as well. At a high level, there's 10 modules. This is what we cover, everything ranging from the Snowflake architecture to getting data into Snowflake. And then once you've got data, how do you effectively use it, secure it, share it, and work with it to ensure that you get the maximum value from your Snowflake implementation? If you're interested, I've included the application link in the video description below. If this sounds like the thing that you're looking for and you want to supercharge your career, and if you're ready to take the ultimate step, I'd really encourage you to fill out the application form below.